that feeling of that first night, it was uh, a culmination of a lot of things for me. I was so anxious to get out there on the stage and show people that I was all right, because I knew there was a lot of speculation. And when I pulled off that mask, it was to me uh, the most incredible feeling, something that I'll never forget, something that most definitely in my life is uh, a big, big highlight. And just sheer happiness and uh, relief and uh, accomplishment. Um, Euphoria. Can't put it any, any other way. It was a big blur after that. Between the accident and the world tour, the year began with months of planning and reflecting with producer husband Emilio. This led to the writing and recording of new songs for her latest platinum-selling album, Into the Light. Don't worry, I wrote another song. He goes, let me hear it. So I played it for him at four, and he goes, that's a good one. Coming out of the dark, I finally see the light now, and it's shining on me. I see the light. I see the light. I see the light. Coming out of the dark. It sounds great. The only thing I hear is that part that's going, Seems to me like that part should come up. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? You wait till you see what this looks like. I love you too, my man. Come on, you guys. Come on. Now, big wave, everyone. The End of the Light Tour will log over a million miles from the U.S. to Japan, the U.K., Europe, Australia, and Southeast Asia. In over 130 cities, sold-out shows will dominate, including record-breaking sellouts at Wembley Arena in England and here in Holland. Tour hit Japan in full stride, where Gloria picked up this award for record-breaking sales of her new album. Well, Japan's always been special because I went there on my honeymoon with Emilio 13 years ago, and we spent a month all over the Orient, but mainly in Japan. And then we had gone back and won the Tokyo Music Festival with the song Konga before it was even popular in the States. So this audience was unbelievable. They stood up in the first song and did not sit down the entire show. I love Gloria. <laughs> My Dutch fans are very special because Holland was the first country that ever played our music outside of Latin America even, so they kind of broke through all of Europe for us. And I go there and they sing every song, even the Spanish ones, word for word with me. You can hear them the entire show. I could actually stop singing and they were carrying on the songs. So they're fantastic fans. Gloria, right here. Gloria. Gloria. The Gloria of Stephen Day. Gloria has always felt at ease with international fame, and with the attention of the world's press here in Germany, she entertained Desert Storm troops and was mobbed by fans in Australia. <laughs> With so many shows to get right, an occasional glitch is bound to happen, and they do. Many things go wrong on stage, and you know Murphy's Law, if anything can go wrong, it will. One night I conked Billy on the head with my microphone. And then one night, believe it or not, uh, I almost 
could have died on stage. Nobody ever found out. This is one of the hazards, you know. I'm sitting in the front of the, sh of the, set, of the stage singing uh, Can't Forget You. And a fan blew a curl in front of my face right when I took a deep breath to hit a high note. And I swallowed this curl. And it must have gone all the way down to here. So at this point, I'm sitting there singing with a huge curl down my throat. And I'm thinking, well, how, either I'm going to throw up any moment now or I'm going to how am I going to get this thing and then I just went like this I pretended it was just brushing it away from my face and I actually pulled this thing out nobody saw it but I can see it now Gloria Stefan a near fatal curl accident on stage would have been the headlines maybe it would have knocked the story of the accident you know way off there On the road, Gloria must continue to work out every day to keep her back in shape and to remain in peak condition. And from time to time, she likes to crack the whip on those around her. That's it, baby. Sweat it out. Actually, Emilio has run up to six miles sometimes, which is unbelievable. And he's, you know, he's got a new body, a brand new body. It's a great deal I got because after being married 13 years, I've got a whole new body here. This is Linda Hamilton number two. Oh. <laughs> Terminator. She's the next Terminator. Wait, your hands are cold. Go put socks on. You've got a cold. No, no, go. Well, go change and tell her you have to do an air assault. been here for about a week. It's a little, got a bit of a cold. Well, I think the best thing about this tour has been that at this point in my life and in my career, I really planned it so that I could spend time in each place and visit things that I'd never seen. We have a great time. Naib gets to go to museums all over the world and learn firsthand, you know, really see history. Mono, don't touch things. Just look at them. It's there, so you can look at it. No, to look at, not to touch. If everyone did that, they'd wear out the wheels. spend a lot of time together and that's what keeps the family going it keeps you very very together for me personally touring is is a moment where I receive all the feedback you know where I see what impact our music has on our audience. And it's a very special moment of, of true communication between an artist and his fans. You can put out records forever and touch them that way, but it's a very different thing when they come and see you live. To me, that moment is when I get to meet them as people, and I really do try to communicate to them that they are important to me, and I do love them. They give me things, you know, just... They take off pieces of clothing, they take off their jewelry, they want me to have it, they give me amulets and, and religious things and, and things to sign and babies that sometimes I wonder, you know, should I take the baby, should I sign the baby, I don't know. It's just like, shake the baby's hand. All they want to do really is get close to you and have that moment, you know, just that one moment. And if you're brave enough and you, and you get up and do it, I, you know, I'll shake the hand, I'll, I'll take the flowers personally, it means a lot to me. Into the Light Tour is the most ambitious stage production of Gloria's career. In design and construction for over a year, the large portable stage is assembled by a crew of 100 and rolled into position at every venue. In addition, a television crew captures the 17-person show and projects all the elements on large video screens that flank both sides of the stage. With Gloria on this tour, of course, is the sound machine, four backup singers, and an added dimension, choreography. And one, and two, and three, and four. The dancing I always wanted to do, I had that in my mind from before the accident. We called Kenny Ortega, who was the first choreographer that I ever worked with years ago on the conga tour. He came in, we did the Seal Our Fate video, we found a basis to work from. His assistant, Liz Imperio, came down to Miami and spent two months just with me. She really 
really did a fantastic job choreographing this show. It's been a wonderful experience. We got some fantastic, fantastic dancers. We wanted kind of like a representation of our music, which to me is a mix of different ethnic uh, backgrounds. Well, I think that anytime you bring another human being into the picture, uh, you bring out a lot of things in yourself. Whenever we're dancing together on stage and we have moments with each one of them, then most definitely their personalities bring out a whole different thing in me. I got 1,000 today. But, I mean, it's like I've never had ticket requests like this in my life. <laughs> well, I mean, this is what they get. No, 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 you need only one minutes on the road each night brings a new place with a different audience and an energy all its own no two nights are ever the same and no matter how many shows we do i always get that feeling right before we go on it's a combination of uh, excitement and, and butterflies you get when you're walking toward the stage for me though i think one of the highlights of each night is the place in the show where it really gets crazy and i get to come out and party with the people of that city and boy, do we party. The best thing I think about my career and uh, performing is that, that that moment on stage when the show is done, you know, when you're, you're at the, what you call, I guess, the climax of the show, what you're going to do uh, to me, which is now my signature tune, because it kind of used to be conga. But I think at this point in my life, my signature tune has most definitely shifted and uh, that song being coming out of the dark and that song really in a nutshell says how I feel not only about my fans and my family but about life in general you know I I really do feel that the most important thing we have going for us in the, in the world is uh, each other and that the sense of community and, and people together can really do incredible things and have an unbelievable power and I feel that power every night you know when I come out and do coming out of the dark that moment to me is the culmination of of my life you know and uh what i want to say to them in that song is the fact that they've helped me through very tough times and i really want to be for them in one way or another that same strength that they were for me whether it be in a song that i've written that touches them in some way or just uh showing them that everyone goes through hard times and you can get through it uh, to me, that's the most important moment for me, not only in the show, but it's the most exciting thing in my life. Ooh, la, 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 la. 